ammunition in the war on opioids. Nine Michigan communities are coming together in a federal lawsuit to combat the opioid crisis. They're going after drug makers, distributors and retailers, alleging they're putting billions in profits over public safety. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is live in Macomb County, which is the second in the state in overdose deaths. Jim. Yeah, Glenda, the uh, third largest populated uh, county in Michigan does have the second largest number of deaths, according to the county executive. Here is that thick federal lawsuit. The event to discuss that was held right here. The medical examiner's office, the morgue, and get this. We are told they've had two more overdose deaths since this event this morning. Between 2015 and 2016, there is an increase of about 134% those type of deaths uh, actually occurring and right here in this room. These local officials say they want the federal judicial system to do what Congress and the Drug Enforcement Authority have not done. Stop the flood of opioid painkillers into the market. They say more people die from overdoses now than gun violence and traffic crashes combined. The problem starts with doctors who write the prescriptions to their patients who become addicted. When I see them in the emergency department, what I think about is, first of all, what got them here, right? Was it an inappropriate prescribing from a physician? The lawsuit targets these six opioid manufacturers, also the next level, six major distributors, and finally, the retailers, the national chain corner drugstores. The suit alleges they all engaged in racketeering, aggressive overpromotion, and false claims regarding the safety of the drugs. That's why since 2000, the number of opioids dispensed in this country has nearly quadrupled. The local governments are also seeking compensation for their costs of law enforcement, courts, and medical treatment, including processing the growing overdose cases. Doing complete autopsies on every suspected drug overdose, doing complete and comprehensive toxicology, which is actually very expensive. Now, critics say this lawsuit will fail because it's like suing the gun manufacturers for gun deaths, but others say it might be like suing big tobacco. We saw the cigarette companies pay out billions to states for deaths and injuries. Either way, it's likely to take years to find out. Live in Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you.